First of all, I'll start by welcoming you and saying hello. Thank you for joining our webinar today, which is co-hosted by the Access Text Network, um, better known to some as ATN. Uh, today, we are going to talk about the very important topic of accommodating college students in this remote and hybrid learning settings that we're going to face. This is definitely a topic that's on the minds of so many educators as we prepare for the start of, of the fall school semester and year. Uh, I am Rita Ferrandino. I work at the University of Pennsylvania's Graduate School of Education in their uh, innovation center called Catalyst. And I also work with Capti Voice. Um, I will be your host today. I will make sure uh, that this is an engaging and fun experience. And I really hope that you leave today and leave this event with more ideas and tools for helping our students be more successful this back to school. Let me start with the introductions. Capti Voice is an assistive technology platform that is at its core, it enables you to convert any text to an audiobook. CAPTI provides numerous accommodations and productivity tools for disability support specialists, faculty, and students. Our job at CAPTI Voice is to help students excel in their academic experience. We will have time to do a walkthrough and answer questions a little later. And um, Erica Aquila, who I'm going to introduce, is, is uh, happy to set a time if you want to see or, or understand more. Um, CAPTI is the reason I work with CAPTI is that it is a research-based next generation tool that's been built um, through grant awards from very prestigious federal agency, including the National Science Foundation, the U.S. Department of Education, um, the National Institute of, of, of Health, and CAPTI was recognized by um, an MIT technology review and others. This is a very high quality research based tool that has proven results. And um, that is only, that's incredibly important, but we also do have an extraordinary number of um, use case scenarios and users who are very willing and able to talk to you about its effectiveness in uh, the university environment. So with that, um, we've got Dr. Yevgen Borodin, who is better known uh, as Gene. Um, he is the full-time CEO at Capti Voice. He's a part-time research professor at SUNY Stony Brook. He's dedicated his career to improving computer accessibility for people with disabilities, and he is internationally known for his research. Hi, Gene. We've got Erica Aquila on. She is the director of sales at CAPTI. She is here to be able to help you with any customer service needs you need. And we have um, our special uh, guest and co-host, Dawn Evans from uh, ATN. She works at the Ge Georgia's Tech Center for Inclusive Design and Innovation. She will be here for Q&A and she will be able to talk about the uh, tools uh, available uh, through ATN. ATN and uh, answer questions. Okay, so our outline for the webinar is very simple. Jean is going to discuss the importance of student retention and challenges with accommodations in making students successful. He's gonna demonstrate how you can deliver books from a ATN with CAPTI. Um, he's also going to, to show you how you can use other reading materials accessibly with CAPTI. He's gonna show you how CAPTI can work with your uh, LMS, uh, how it can provide accessible tests and so on. Erica will conclude with her uh, closing remarks and then we're gonna do Q&A with Don Evans and that should take 30 minutes. So uh, Jean, if you don't mind, can you uh, take it away? Thank you, Rita. So um, I wear two hats. Um, I'm a CEO, but I'm also a research professor. So as a professor, I recognize that our mission in college is to educate students. But to get educated, students actually need to stay in college, right? And retaining students has always been a challenge. These stats uh, differ from school to school, but as it is, 40% of undergraduate students don't graduate. In fact, we lose 30% of them in the first year. 
and the most vulnerable population, as you know, are students with disabilities. Uh, these are the students you work with on a day-to-day -day basis. And about 20% of graduate stu undergraduate students report having a disability. And how many more don't report it uh, and don't get help? As you know, students with disabilities contribute significantly to the dropout rate. So it is our mission to retain these students by helping them be more effective in their studies and helping them succeed against all odds. And as if this wasn't hard enough already, COVID-19 threw us a curveball. Uh, and we know already that uh, in online learning, we see 40 to 80% dropout rate. Uh, many of us are gonna have to be in remote and hybrid settings, which are probably going to be more remote and hybrid. So it looks like you have a tremendous challenge on your hands, in helping your students stay in college this school year. And we at CAPTI will do everything we can to help. So these are the typical accommodations that disability support centers traditionally have to provide. I actually wonder how, how much harder these are going to get now that you have to do this remotely uh, and support online learning tools in LMS. All right, so CAPTI um, is here to help you with most of these, if not all of these. And if you need an accessible book, your first thought should be Access Tax Network. I want to remind you that if you have questions we have Dawn Evans with us today, and uh, sh you can type the questions in Q&A. She'll be happy to answer them. So Access Tax Network, you know, we have uh, a shared mission with Access Tax Network to help students with disabilities succeed. Uh, the network creates a conduit between publishers and you so that you can get electronic versions of college textbooks. To date, ATN has 50 publishers and over 3,000 post-secondary institutions in the network. Well, ATN is a great resource. And if you're not a member of a Access Tax Network yet, this is a good time to join. You can learn more by visiting accesstax.org slash join. Today, I'll show you how you can use CAPTI with Access Tax Network. So CAPTI is an assistive technology platform. And at its core, as Rita said, it enables you to convert any text to an audiobook on just about any device. We support Chromebooks, Windows, Mac computers, iPhones, iPads, and you can use online version on, on, uh, on Android tablets. But besides that, CAPTI provides you with numerous accommodation and productivity tools, tools for disability support centers, for faculty, for students. And uh, there is no, uh, no chance that we'll be able to review all of these tools, but today I wanna to focus on the three that, were, uh, that you said were important. Uh, so CAPTI will provide you with a seamless way to deliver books to the students and make them accessible, empower your students to make anything accessible by themselves and be independent. And it will help you provide accommodations during assignments and tests and professors can use it as well. So before we jump on the demo, um, imagine that a student calls you and asks you for an accessible textbook, for example, on psychology. So you will go to the ATN website, fill out the form, request the book from the publisher. And once you receive the book, then you need to somehow deliver that book to the student. And then the student needs to figure out how to actually read it in an accessible way. Let's do a quick demo um, of how you can actually deliver the books to your students. I'm gonna pause screen sharing and we're in CAPTI. So let's say uh, the student came to you it was Mo Sala, and he asked you for a book on psychology. So you got the book from Access Tax Network, and this is how you can share the book with a student very quickly. So you go to the library, create a new shared playlist, and playlist is how we organize content. So we're gonna call this playlist by the student name, but you can actually deliver materials to multiple students at a time. Um, I'm gonna create the playlist, Select our student. I have Diego Maradona and Beckham here, but then I'm gonna get, get the book on psychology today. I'm gonna go to modify content. Here's the playlist I just created, and I'm gonna add the psychology book. It's already on my computer, so I'm just gonna upload it. I'm gonna do a short version it just loads faster. 
I have two options. Actually, I can load it in rich text or original layout. I'm just going to do both to show you the difference. And if this was a inaccessible document, I could use OCR to process it and digitize it. So the rich text already loaded. Now we're loading the original layout. Okay, and the student should already have the book. So I'm gonna go out, log out and log in as a student now. And actually, if your students are using uh, Blackboard or Canvas or using Google email, they can log in with Gmail and they can do a single sign on in Canvas if it's integrated, you just select Capture Voice and it takes you right into the, into the playlist or assignments. So uh, when you share text with, with the students, you can actually just send them a link and it takes them directly to it. But here the, here's the book in two different versions that I shared with my student. In the rich text, students can customize the way it looks, make it higher contrast, line, add line spacing, make it narrow, turn on masking so you can see a little bit of text at a time, turn on open dyslexic font. And of course they can uh, increase the font size if necessary, as large as they need. And it, it wraps the text so they don't have to go left and right all the time. They don't have to pan. Uh, and if we go to the original layout, it just looks exactly as it was designed, as it was laid out. And I can go and start reading it. Clive where Waring is an accomplished musician who lost his ability to form new memories when he became sick at the age of... And I can keep re-listening what I just heard. Waring is an accomplished... So there's lots of these interesting tools in here. Um, we have a selection of voices to choose from. It speaks like Amazon Alexa. You have two voices that, that come by default, and students can buy additional ones. And there are multiple languages, too. So if your students need to read uh, a text in French or Spanish, they can do that, too. So besides just being able to listen to the book, uh, students have a, a wide variety of different productivity tools built in. Uh, for example, if they don't know a certain word, they can look it up. Uh, they can look up the definition or translation. So let's see what extraterrestrial means. Okay, and I can add this to my word list or list of terms that I need to study. And if something is important, let's maybe this, this paper here, I can highlight it, I can add notes, and all of these tools are now available to me here in the sidebar. I can see all of my notes and I can export them to a, to a file so I can work on the research paper or I can export them on another playlist so I can then listen to just my notes. So it's very useful and has so many different uh, capabilities here for, for the students. Uh, now students can also we talked about the other scenario when students are using CAPT independently. Um, students can organize any materials that they need here in their own playlists. Well, first of all, if they install a Chrome browser extension, CAPT makes any web page accessible to them. So if they wanted to do some more reading on what psychology is, they could just select any text, press play and listen to it in a more accessible way. Psychology is the science of mind and behavior. Psychology. And here I have a different voice set up. You can just hide this away and, and listen to this web page. So the students can use the same capability on any LMS. If they open a, a PDF file in the browser, they can use it as well. And of course they can just add their own books. So a lot of professors tend to share materials uh, with students either via email or via the website or hopefully LMS. So if using Blackboard or Canvas, let's say in Canvas, the professor has shared 
a book on economics. So as a student, I can go in and add that book from directly from Canvas. And here we support other sources as well. So if I go to Canvas, I have my course in economics. I can import my own book. It's loading and once it's loaded, it will be in the playlist. I'll be able to access it from all of my devices. This playlist synchronizes between devices. So this is how a student can use CAPT independently. There's so many different tools. I just won't have, even an hour won't, won't be enough. So if you, if you want to learn more uh, about what's possible with CAPT, uh, get in touch with Erica and she will do a personalized walkthrough with you. And there's one more scenario I wanted to cover. Um, it's accommodating students in testing. Rita, do we have time to cover this? Uh, sure, let's um, make sure to, to do that fairly quickly. Yes, I'll be quick. So I'm gonna log back in as a uh, instructor or as a technology uh, specialist at the, at the DSS Center. And let's say you know, my students has read the economics textbook or first chapter of the economics textbook that was assigned through Canvas. And now um, it is my goal uh, to, to, do it, to uh, administer an exam in an accessible way and accommodate the student with extra time or whatnot. So I'm here in, in I'm showing you the pre-release version of CAPTI. Um, this is a real time uh, activity dashboard where you can see what your students are doing as you assign things to them. I'm going to go to assignments, create a new assignment. Maybe we'll make this a quiz. I'm going to call it econ quiz. Create. Um, we'll have a quiz in PDF that the professor prepared. Of course, it's not super accessible. Capture will help with that. Okay, um, I'm gonna give it a, a few seconds to load. So CAPTI sort of takes you through uh, through the steps that are that are needed to administer it, to create this assignment. So next, I'm gonna select the students. I'm gonna select, it, uh, select Mo Salah. Provide accommodations. You can actually control what students can and cannot use. You can give them extended time, uh, allow them to access any website or not. So I'm gonna, and it's gonna use the default uh, settings for the students. So I'm just gonna you know, not allow copying text from the test, uh, but I will allow to write on the test and maybe create annotations and use text to speech. I can schedule it to appear at a certain time, set the due date so it automatically closes when it's done, but I'm gonna keep this one open and assign it now. And the student should already have it. Let's log back in as a student. And it's already here as an assignment. When students start the quiz, it will pop up in a full screen mode, actually, this is a secure browser environment. So if I try to exit it, I'm gonna be warned. If I don't return back, it will automatically submit it for me. So this is where I can read, use the text-to-speech, all of the tools that CAPTI has. Multiple choice. Choose the one alternative that... And I can write my answers too. Oops. Okay, and I can submit this and you will be able to get the PDF of the document or just view it electronically. For example, a professor could see it electronically and export it to PDF. And as I'm doing, as I'm taking this quiz, uh, the real-time dashboard I showed you earlier uh, shows you what students are doing. So you can actually monitor them in real time. Okay, so that's, that's it for the demo.
Um, so thank you, Jean. That was quite thorough. We appreciate that. Let's, as I mentioned earlier, this is really the next generation in uh, technology development, which is why it integrates, which is why um, we're seeing so much positive um, uh, results with, with the tool. Uh, does, Cap now, does CAPTI work with Moodle? Question just came in. Uh, so CAPTI does not directly integrate with Moodle, but now with the, the way we're doing assignments, when you create an assignment, you can take that link and post it into Moodle. Or if you're sharing something with the students, you take that link and post this in the Moodle. And when students click the link, they'll be able to, uh, to access exactly what you shared with them. And if you're using Canvas or Schoology, uh, you will be able to create an assignment without ever leaving Canvas. So that's, that's a... So can we go... Are, did you finish that question? Yes. Okay. I mean, we have more. I've got to keep you moving here. Um, someone's asking about Kurzweil 3000. If they're using Kurzweil, why would they use CAPTI? Well, CAPTI is a more integrated tool uh, that provides the you know a host of different features. Um, for example, the real-time dashboard. It it gives students more control. And actually, Canvas uh, Kurzweil is is the it's a great tool, but it is the one that we replace the most. And, and I'll just say, since I am uh, kind of a, an independent uh, person on this call hosting, Kurzweil is the tool that was created when I first uh, went to work 35 years ago. Um, Kurzweil is a gener multi-generations ago. And this is a product created with the latest technology with um, the latest um, and, and, and best minds in computer accessibility uh, research. So that would be how I would answer that question. But again, I'm, I'm just kind of the independent person here. Um, I'd like to bring Don Evans. Can you um, put your uh, screen on? And uh, she is, uh, here with Hi, us. Rita. Great. We can't see you, Don. And it's fine if you don't want to be on camera, but just letting you know. Oh, got you. I am not camera ready today. <laughs> I certainly understand that. So, Don, uh, do you want to say anything about ATN or answer any? Let's see if there's any questions about uh, being an ATN member. Uh, there was one question that came up about who are the current publisher members and anybody that is already an ATN member, the easiest way to see the always up-to-date list of publisher members is simply to log in and click on publishers in the left-hand pane and that will show you the entire list. Um, it's also on our wiki which I linked to up above in the chat. Thank you and uh, next we've got Erica. Erica Aquila. Hi guys. Um, all right. Well, my job at Captive Voice is to make students more successful through our higher ed and K-12 accommodation software, obviously, as you just saw with Jean demoing. I'm here to help you um, with any of your purchasing needs and provide training to ensure that your students are also successful when they're using our CAPTI platform. Um, I can already see that some people are contacting us for uh, personalized demos and also some for pricing. So if you just want to um, send an email over, I can get that over to you. <clears throat> we have um, a plethora of colleges already using CAPTI, um, such as Cornell, Utah State University, West Virginia University. Those are just to name a few. And we've also put them up on the screen so you can see a few of the other ones as well. I could, you know, tell you how great CAPTI is, but you guys just saw the um, demo. And also it's better to see quotes from actual users or hear from actual users. So we put a few quotes up from some of our DSS staff members that are using CAPTI right now. If you guys just want to take a second, you can scan over those quickly. I know a lot of colleges, higher ed institutions are dealing with budget cuts this year and things of that nature. So <clears throat> we are offering a special discount for attendees. You can see um, for 20 students, 50 and 100. If you need more than that, we'll be happy to help you with that as well. We just put those because they seem to be easy numbers to work with. 
<laughs> if you need to justify the purchase to any of your staffers, um, there's a simple math solution that we have figured out. Um, whatever the spe specific tuition at your school is, the average nationwide public in-state tuition runs about 11500 my brother goes to a SUNY school and I've seen those bills and they're actually a little higher than that. So if you've purchased, for example, 100 licenses like we just show you and you retain just one out of those 100 students, you saved your school 10,000 in tuition. And of course, CAPD goes beyond just retaining students. It levels the playing field for students with disabilities, improving the quality of their education and thus employment opportunities for the students who are using it when they're all done. So we just want to, all of us here at CAPD want to thank you for joining us today. And I think Rita's going to get on and give away the Amazon gift card. Great. Well, we do have one more question, which uh, uh, from oh. Jason Lukes, who said, the pricing appears to be significantly less than uh, Kurzweil 3000. Is that accurate? Correct. That is yes. accurate. <laughs> and uh, that's why you're on uh, the call with us today. We are delighted that you were able to join us. We did it in the time allotted. Have a wonderful day. Contact us if you need anything else. And again, we wish you all the best as you head back to school um, and work to uh, accommodate our students. Thank you.